Good afternoon, friends. My name is Andrei Lobov. I'm the technical director of the Cooperative Resource. Today, a group of active partners and investors and I were invited to Sovelmash, and we were shown the most pleasant things, a huge amount of new equipment. The most pleasant thing for me was the fact that heating was connected here in this frosty winter. Last time I was here in November, it was terribly cold. There were heat guns in every corner. Now I can just walk around in my jacket. I even see that Jill Weber, our African partner, well, he's wearing a shirt. It's great. You can see this movement, people are walking around. They are setting something up, they are doing something. Dmitry Duyanov ran past me, cheerful, active. He said hello. He said, that's it, I don't have any more time, I'm going upstairs. He couldn't even spare a minute. Well, it is clear that he is a very busy man today. For me, of course, this new year is interesting, not only because of my visit to Sovelmash, but also because last year we launched a large number of projects in all countries. And I will now tell you a little bit about what came out of it. Towards the end of the year, we visited Macedonia, where we tested our DA95 boat motor, and it showed great results. It was just amazing. So the people who were there suggested that I start two projects there, one with a VIP boat and a new motor, which we are developing now. This new motor was manufactured for us by Sovomash company, on the basis of a hundred dimension motor. The motor is number 001 and now a gearbox is being installed to it. It will be a direct drive, the gearbox, to the propeller. And the stationary motor, I hope, in the near future will be installed on a VIP boat in Macedonia for rent for tourists who can pay for it. There in Macedonia our boat motor from the company Resource was left, which showed amazing results in my opinion. And it was decided to make a solar boat for it. We met with the director of a solar panel company, who said, no problem, we will install everything, just give us the boat. This year, by spring, we are planning to launch a solar boat for tourist rentals. We'll see how it turns out, whether the investors who signed up for it can handle it. These are not even investors, but entrepreneurs who work on the lake, who are interested in it, who have the support of environmentalists. The most important thing is that Lake Okred is protected by UNESCO. Here at Sovelmash, you know that there is, it was made the very first, there is certified laboratory where we purchased the motor from Viktor Aristev and we brought it here. Now it is in the laboratory. In the near future, we will finish making the tooling for it, we will test it, because we need the results of a certified laboratory. We need the results of torques, graphs, we need to show it all at the BAW plant and to offer our new motor, which was designed by ASPP Weihau Technology Company, for mass production and installation of small trucks. I have even taken a ride on those trucks. The motor has already been tested on one of such trucks and it was tested in Russia. One company that produces electric cars, Kangaroo, it asked to install this motor and test it in real life, in practice. It was really great. In my opinion, the results are very good. The motor has every right to be there. 
Another very interesting piece of news is that a group of engineers and an entrepreneur in Colombia, a big team, contacted us and asked us to develop and sell them a boat motor for a traditional Amazonian boat. That boat is a long boat that Indians use. This boat is used for tourists on the river. They use direct drive motors, which means that the direct shaft goes directly from the motor with the propeller into the water. It is also outboard. We have developed such a motor and sent it to Colombia. I hope that in the near future we will see a video report from the Amazon to see how serious this project is and whether it is possible to organize a run along the Amazon among three countries, as I thought after the conference, Peru, Colombia and Ecuador, and show it to anyone who would be interested. Also there in Colombia, they promised me to run a solar tricycle in the near future. We are also waiting for news, we will definitely tell about it in a separate video report. In Indonesia, after my summer visit, additional equipment for a solar boat was purchased. The process is not so fast. That is, navigation equipment has been purchased. They are preparing to purchase solar panels. The institute is working on the software that will control this boat from satellites. I hope that they will soon finish this project and we will be able to talk about it in more detail. Well, that's all very nice. I think that's the main use for today. It was a pleasure to be here, to meet some partners, I don't know, to see this beautiful building, which I'm in love with with all my heart. Looking forward to what more will be done. Hopefully we'll be invited back here soon, and we will see that everything is finished and working. Thank you for your attention.